My name is Nelson Ng. I'm the, I'm the chairman for Regina Chinese Freemason. This is our 10th anniversary for the uh, Regina Chinese Freemason held in, in the uh, casino Regina to raise the money for children. Well, thank you for your support. Hope we, tonight you can make some money, raise more money for children. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Reed, host of Chefs and Show Homes on Access Communications. It's my pleasure to join you and our honored guests at the Chinese New Year Celebration 2019. It's also my privilege to co MC alongside Jeremy Ang, Ada Day, and Louis Brown. This year marks the 10th year that the Chapter of Chinese Freemasons of Canada has hosted this event. And for the 10th consecutive year, we have a sold out crowd as we celebrate the Chinese New Year, Year of the Pig. Tonight will be a formal evening with an exciting program of cultural entertainment and a special charity live auction. All proceeds are going to support the pediatric outpatient unit. Children are our biggest asset, they are our future, and they need to be healthy to continue, to, build, to continue building our great community. Thanks to the generosity of our sponsors and the dedication of our volunteers, we have raised hundreds of thousands of dollars in the previous years for various pediatric departments, such as the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, the Pediatric Asthma Clinic, the Pediatric Outpatient Ward, the Children's Ward, the Children's Emergency Ward for the General Hospital, the Children's Program, and the Wascana Rehabilitation Center. We hope that this year's charity banquet will once again enable us to raise more funds in support of the Pediatric Outpatient Unit. The Chinese Freemasons is excited to work with the Hospitals of Regina Foundation to raise funds to buy new equipment for the Pediatric Outpatient Unit at the Regina Wascana Rehabilitation Center. Tonight's Chinese New Year's celebration, we would like to encourage everyone to purchase the raffle tickets as all proceeds from the sales, from the sale of these tickets will go to support the Regina Hospital Foundation. Good evening, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen. As the chairman of the Regina chapter of the Chinese Freemason Society, it gives me great pressure to extend greetings to all attending tonight's Regina Chinese Freemason 11 Chinese New Year celebration party. I'm honored to have this opportunity to send my warm wish to all of you during this special occasion. The Chinese Freemason Society of Canada has over a century worth of history, date back in 1863. Our Chinese ancestors left their families and came to this new country to make a living and build the first Qigong Town building in Belgaville. British Columbia, now is the case of National Historic Site of Canada. Our Chinese history, struggles, and involvement in Canada has helped shape this country's culture and political landscape. And although we have respectful ties to our home country, we are now proud to be part of Canada, a country with democratic freedom. Our Regina Chinese Freemason chapter was established on 1928 and reopened on 2007. Tonight, it will be a formal evening with an exciting program of a cultural entertainment, a special live option charity and raffle draw. All will be proceeded to support the Pediatrics Outpatient Unit for Regina Hospital in Saskatchewan. Children are our biggest asset. They are our future, and they need to be healthy to continue building our great community. Thank you to the generosity of our sponsor and the dedication of our volunteers. We have raised over $100,000 combined in the previous years. We hope this year's charity banquet will once again enable us to raise more funds to support for new NICU pediatrics asthma clinic, uh, pediatric outpatient, to children ward emergency for General Hospital, the Children's Department at Regina Wascana Rehabilitation Center. In January 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, and 2018. The Chinese Freemason is excited to work with the Regina Hospital Foundation. I came to help raising funds to buy new equipment for the Pediatrics Outpatient Unit at the Regina Hospital. During tonight's Chinese New Year celebration, we would like to encourage everyone to purchase the raffle tickets, as all the money will proceed from the sales of this ticket, will go to support this cause. 
On April 8, 2016, we also signed the City of China Cemetery Area Resolution Agreement. We each year to pay a lump sum to up to the Chinese session of designated area. In addition, we have our own pavilion called Spirit of China for Mose since 2017. I would like to take a moment in recognition for tonight's biggest light option draw. My best friend, my best brother, Aaron Mann from Mago Auto Body will donate the box suite for 2019 Rough Rider. A season game include a suite and 14 tickets and buffet with around six, $6,650 in support to Regina Pediatrics Outpatient Department. Please remember to support this peace cause by buying raffle ticket. In summary, tonight we celebrate the Chinese New Year to remember the Chinese Freemasons' history, the present and the future, and all the important memories that make up our community here in Canada. The Chinese Freemasons Society has buildings and organizations all over Canada, and we hope to continue to contribute to serve the community and our country. Also, I have, I am pleased to say, I was a recipient for the Senator of Canada 150 Medal and Canada 150 Commemorative Medal from the Senator David Thatcher and Honorable Andrew Shear. As Chairman of Regina Chinese Freemason, I hope that future generation can do the same to carry on our ancestors' vision of established cultural vibrancy and putting forth effort in contributing our this country and expanding peace. I want to thank everyone and wish you all the fullest and success. I'm especially pleased to see the continuous success of the unity of the Chinese Freemason in China. On behalf of the Chinese Freemason, may I wish you all a most successful future and happy Chinese New Year. Thank you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. I'm delighted to join you here on Treaty 4 territory and the home of the Métis for this wonderful New Year's celebration. What better way to start the New Year than by joining together with friends to create valuable support for the Pediatric Outpatient Department. Thank you all for joining the Chinese Freemasons in their mission to improve the lives of people in our community. I want to especially thank Nelson Eng for inviting me and to his team for working so hard to create this very special evening. I'm looking forward to enjoying the rich Chinese culture traditions that have been prepared for tonight. It's my pleasure to bring you greetings on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada. Thank you and Happy New Year. Thank you very much, Madam Co-Chair, Your Honour, the Lieutenant Governor, and a very long list of dignitaries, distinguished guests, and special guests this evening, uh, including our host, Nelson Ng, the founder of the Chinese Freemasons Organization in Regina. Good evening, everyone. Greetings and good wishes to all of you this evening from Prime Minister Trudeau and the Government of Canada as we gather together on the territory of Treaty No. 4 and in the homeland of the Métis. A sincere Happy New Year to everyone in this exciting Year of the Pig. This celebration each year, hosted by the Chinese Freemasons, is a wonderful occasion to take note of all of the economic and social and cultural accomplishments and contributions of Chinese Canadians to this city, to this province, to this country, spanning over 150 years. And all Canadians are very proud of that rich heritage and grateful for it. And here in Regina, the generosity of the Chinese community is just absolutely enormous, as demonstrated once again tonight with all of the proceeds from this New Year's celebration going to the hospitals of Regina 
and particularly going into better treatment and care for sick children. There could be no more worthy cause. And Nelson has already enumerated the amount of money over the years that this organization has generated for that cause. Nelson, to you and your colleagues in the Chinese Freemasons, thank you for this generous act of nation building. Canada is proud to be known as the finest example of pluralism the world has ever seen. And the Chinese Canadian community has been a fundamental part of that from the very beginning, indeed before Confederation. We celebrate our diversity, our inclusion, and our respect for one another. We also celebrate our democracy, our freedom, human rights, due process, and the rule of law. We are grateful to millions of Canadians over several generations, millions of Chinese Canadians, for helping us to build and to maintain this great country. Happy New Year. Gang Hefa Choi. Good evening, everyone. Happy New Year. How's everybody doing tonight? It's a wonderful evening. Uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to be here. Councilor John Fondura joins me in being greetings on behalf of Regina City Council on a wonderful occasion. And I've been uh, fortunate to be here the last couple of years. Uh, Nelson Ng, the force of nature that he is, is a, a wonderful person who is really showing his heart to grow our city and grow our province. So let's give uh, Nelson a great round of applause for the work he does to move us forward in the future. So this is the year of the pig, and I note, I'm told, that some of the characteristics of uh, this are people behave themselves and they do no harm to others. They're considerate, responsible, independent, and optimistic. They show great generousness uh, of attitude and mercy and endure other people's mistakes. And they bring affluence to people. I think it sounds like everybody in Regina was born as a pig, don't you think so? <laughs> sounds good to me. But in all seriousness, ladies and gentlemen, we're here for a really important cause. We are here to raise money for the Hospitals of Regina Foundation, the pediatric uh, unit. I uh, can't think of another more important fundraiser to help build our city. So those who are here this evening, thank you for your generosity. For the officials that are here, the dignitaries that are here from around the country, thank you for coming to Regina. I hope you find your, your stay here very well and very prosperous. On behalf of Regina City Council, thank you for your contribution. Thank you for building Regina, Saskatchewan, and Canada. And have a great evening, everybody. Happy New Year. Gung Hei Fa Choi. Ni hao. I also want to uh, begin by acknowledging that we're on Treaty 4 territory in the homeland of the Métis. And uh, at this time, I'd also like to acknowledge Chief, uh, Chief O'Day. Thanks for, your, thanks for being here, sir. And uh, I'd also like to acknowledge uh, just how great the MCs are doing. And uh, it's not an easy job, but they're doing a very nice job. So let's put our hands together for that. So thanks, uh, thanks you all for being here this evening. And uh, again, we're bringing in the year of the pig. And through a rich, a rich celebration of culture and heritage, and Gong Hei Fa Choi, Gong Shi Fa Sai. And I want to recognize a few, a few fellow dignitaries. And I'm also wondering who didn't get introduced? <laughs> OK, well, pass a note here very quickly, and I'll introduce you. But uh, again, Your Honor, Chief Bray, it's always great to see you, to see you sir. Uh, ministers, there's a number of you here. My legislative colleagues, it's great to see all of you here as well. Uh, Dr. Talukdar, Richard Wong, General Counsel, it's so, it's so great to see you and thanks for all you do. Um, we're here, we're here celebrating Chinese New Year, but we're also here raising some money. And I'd like to, again, thank Nelson Ng and the Chinese Freemasons for their tireless efforts in making this event possible in support of the pediat pediatric outpatient unit. I like to call Nelson Hurricane Nelson, and I like to call his wife Shirley Tropical Storm Shirley, because uh, they are, uh, and the rest of the Ing Clan, they've got, uh, they're amazing in terms of their philanthropy and your leadership, your generosity, they're amazing. Uh, your ability to bring people together 
is unmatched. And I don't think you're ever thanked enough, Nelson. I don't really think anybody really can thank you enough. You uh, do an amazing job, and I know you're going to get a lot of these tonight, but just one more time, can we thank Nelson, Nelson Ng? And again, I'd like to thank the, uh, the sponsors and uh, who, have, who have and continue to ensure the success of tonight's event and for the hospitals of Regina Foundation. And without you, tonight's event would not be possible. So with that, enjoy the food. There's enough people who are going to sit here and talk and the incredible lineup of enter entertainment. Gong Hei Pat Choi, Shun Yin Kwai Lu. All the best. Well, Your Honor, uh, honored guests, esteemed dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening. It's my great pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the Government of Saskatchewan and Premier Scott Moe. First, I'd like to offer uh, my special thanks to Nelson Ng and to the Chinese Freemasons of Canada for extending an invitation uh, for me to participate in tonight's Chinese New Year's celebrations. We've been provided with a special opportunity to gather to wish one another the blessings of happiness of wealth and of longevity. I know the song and the food and the dance on display this evening is a strong representation of how dynamic and beneficial the Chinese community contributions have been here, right here in Regina and all over the province of Saskatchewan. And as our province continues to grow and welcome more and more people from around the world, celebrations such as this evening's take on added significance. Our province's motto is for many people's strength. That strength comes from many cultures, with the Chinese contribution being as important as any. Groups such as the Chinese Freemasons, which help new Canadians to feel welcome and encourage both the older and younger generations to celebrate their cultural traditions and deserve our recognition, and they certainly deserve our thanks. These organizations help their members to honor their old traditions, their old values, which helps develop a sense of pride and belonging. In turn, this comfort encourages members to be active participants in building Canadian societies with others. Saskatchewan's cultural diversity is one of our greatest strengths and our great source of pride. And we recognize the strength, the solidarity, and the warmth that the Chinese Freemasons bring to our city and to our great province. So once again, I want to thank the Chinese Freemasons and the Chinese community of Regina for hosting this celebration for your generosity in supporting the children of our province, and I look forward to the rest of this evening's festivities. Happy New Year. Well, good evening, everyone. Happy New Year. It's a pleasure to be here with you tonight. It's my first time I've been able to join this particular event, and what a, what a wonderful event it is. I'm really happy to be able to be here with you uh, and to be here on Treaty 4 territory, homeland of the Métis, uh, a land that has been a gathering place of peoples for centuries, and that is well reflected in our province's motto of from many people's strength, which I think is well represented tonight as well as we think about the contributions of all of the communities who have helped to build the strength of this province, but in particular, the role of the Chinese Canadian community. I want to recognize, as, as others have, Nelson and Shirley and the great work they do in the community, the great work of the uh, Chinese Freemasons of Canada, and also recognize the work of the World Chinese Business Association of Canada and their contributions to the efforts underway tonight. I'm proud to be joined tonight by Carla Beck, uh, MLA for Regina Lakeview, and her husband Guy Marsden, Trent Wotherspoon, MLA for Regina Rosemont, Jens Peterson, the MLA for Regina Northeast, and Alina Young, who uh, is running for us in Regina University in the upcoming provincial election. And uh, I'm very happy to be joined by this company, but as I was sitting listening to everything, I was reflecting on somebody who, who isn't, wasn't able to join us tonight, and that's my wife, Mali. And I was thinking that for, for many reasons, I've got to make sure she's able to come next year. Well, this year maybe is special because she was born in the year of the pig. And as I listened to his worship describe the, the qualities, uh, someone who's able to patiently endure the mistakes of others is a good description of the, the life my wife has to live with me. Um, she's also part Chinese. Her f grandfather came from China to France, and then her mother came from France to Canada. So, so my sons are part Chinese as well. So that's a, a special connection for us. And perhaps more importantly, and what would really inspire her tonight, 
she's a pediatrician and she's very committed to the health of children and would be very happy to see the, the great efforts being put forward to further support through this year's contribution to outpatient pediatric clinics in Regina and the, the contributions made over the years to the health of Saskatchewan children, which is such a, a great reflection of the way in which Chinese Canadians have in Saskatchewan for well over a century contributed to the life of communities all over the province, contributed in so many ways to, to building up what kind of a province we can be. And so I'm very happy to be able to join you this evening. Thank you very much for having me along. Xie Xie and Kung Hei Fa Choi. Have a wonderful evening. It's really a long list of speakers. But finally, it's a, a woman's turn. <laughs> Thank you very much. So uh, President uh, Nelson Ng, your Honorable uh, Lieutenant Governor, Governor, and all the distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Um, I'm very happy, thank you very much for having me here. And it's always been a great pleasure to be uh, visiting, uh, to be here and visit the beautiful city of Regina. Uh, each time I am overwhelmed by the hospitality of the city and the province. And uh, it, it, it is really enjoyable taking a long time flying from Calgary uh, to be here and enjoy the differences between different cities. On behalf of the Chinese uh, Consulate General in Calgary, I would like to extend our best wishes uh, to all of you for the Happy Chinese New Year, Xin Nian Hao, and Gong Hei Fa Choi. Thank you. It is always the way in China for people to celebrate the Chinese New Year with louder sound, bigger feast, and greater generosity. I'm very happy to know that tonight it is not only a celebration for Chinese New Year, but also a kind of showcase of generosity from the Chinese community and also uh, from all the communities in Regina. I'm so grateful to the Chinese community for introducing the unique Chinese culture to this diversified phenomena of this province. And it is worthwhile to have a big celebration for the contributions made by the Chinese community, as well as the long-lasting friendship between China and Saskatchewan. I had a, uh, yesterday, I arrived yesterday, I had a very constructive meeting with Mr. Harrison, the Minister of Trade and uh, uh, Export uh, Department. Um, and very glad to know that the trade volume between our two sides is growing and the Saskatchewan is selling more products to the Chinese market. And I believe the trade volume will continue to grow only with the joint efforts from the both sides. And I would like to once again take this opportunity to sincerely wish the, the year of peak brings um, all of us good luck and prosperity, fortune. That's most important thing. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the evening. Honorable guests. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to attend tonight's event. We came all the way from Vancouver. Why well, come here to a wonderful city of minus 20? <laughs> Several reasons. One, we came, this is the ninth consecutive year to come and support Nelson Ng for this wonderful Chinese New Year celebration. <laughs> B 
because he is our chapter president for the World Chinese Entrepreneur, uh, for the World Chinese Business Association of Canada in Saskatchewan. So we have to come to support our brother, okay? And another reason, my wife and I come to visit our relative on her side because her relative and had came, the family came here, I think, if not more, will be about 100 years. In a little town, you know, by the name of Yellow Grass, only 500 people there, right? I think the UN family, uh, they are up there still here, eight of them, we are welcome. So that's why we, the Chinese Canadian, we came here more than 200 years ago, 150 years, 60 years ago, we developed, come and develop, help Canada to develop gold mining and then build a railroad and now we bridge the two great countries, Canada and China, in all aspects, okay? My wife is an educator, okay? Had been an assistant dean of faculty of commerce in UBC, had been doing great work for, between the two countries. At the same time, we as Canadians, also very proud to continue to participate and build our country, just like Nelson participate, right? to introduce our culture as a, a real Canadian. So what we have done beside this new year, we also, under his leadership, he also helped the Canada Day drumming celebration. If you want to know the detail, check on the website, canadadaydrumming.com. What is that for? Canada Day drumming, is an all-Canadian world record celebration to celebrate Canada Day through simultaneous nationwide drumming and to promote diversity, multicultural harmony, peace, and love for a better world. You know, how did we do it last year? was the second year. First year, we tried to celebrate Canada 150 in the year of 2017. Last year was second year, and last year we were fortunate in Vancouver, we even established a Guinness World Record, the most nationality in a drum circle. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy three minutes video of what happened, the drumming, the Canada Day drumming last year across Canada. Please show the video. This record in particular shows the Guinness World Records value of inclusion, showing that anyone anywhere in the world can be a record holder. Today you are attempting this record not just for the drumming celebration event and not just for the city of Vancouver, but to bring this record that has never been broken anywhere into the world to Canada on Canada Day.
welcome to this all-Canadian world record drumming celebration. People around the world have used drumming as a way to communicate across distances. Today, you remind us of the power and importance of connecting one another and remind us that our diversity is our greatest strength. Thank you to the Legacy 150 Celebration Society and to everyone across the country who made this event possible. And thank you to everyone for coming here together to drum today. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, on Canada Day, at the time equivalent to 11 a.m. Vancouver time, locally, please, wherever you are, join, and also if you have time, join Nelson, wherever the place, drum together for six minutes, join together with the whole country to celebrate Canada Days. Happy New Year, all the best, thank you. Hello, good evening, everybody. Yeah, so nice video, right? Yeah, so I would say is uh, if you missed last year, this year you won't miss, okay? Yeah, come join to us together, okay? Next year, drumming, okay? Also, I would ask uh, Mr. Goodell, we need your help, yeah? <laughs> because uh, we need some funding for that. <laughs> Not easy, because uh, we, 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 we make that as uh, so drumming is uh, spend lots of money. So all our community is uh, all donate that money from our group. Uh, so Mr. Goodell, <laughs> you got to say, tell the Mr. Trudeau to help us for our community, for all the, all the city. And also you see the radio is not only a Vancouver, it's a, that radio is all over the city and uh, uh, from Canada. Halifax, Calgary, and uh, 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 Winnipeg, and uh, uh, of course Regina, Vancouver, Ottawa. So this is uh, all together. So as I say, if you missed that last year, this year please join us, okay? Yeah, whatever the drum you have, yes. Or if you don't have it, we provide the drum to you and uh, come to join us, okay? And I would say is uh, thank you to invite me again as uh, Mr. Nelson Ning, as uh, I'm uh, great to be here so for the Regina again. That's our 10, this is uh, the uh, 10 years that we'll be here so, uh, nonstop, yeah. So we, every year that so we're here, just uh, one reason, because uh, we want the support for the Regina Hospital. This year is uh, for the children hospital, so we really like to support them, and also a really good friend with uh, Nelson, so that's why he did uh, such a good job. So, and uh, uh, of course, we have uh, come over to support. Actually, I'm from Halifax, so uh, also welcome you coming to visit us, and uh, this year is a year of a pick. Hope everybody is, uh, have uh, coming years, a year of a pick is a uh, good health, a uh, good business, and a uh, good um, <laughs> prosperity, and everybody, okay, happy new year. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Especially after Mr. Wang to speak is very difficult. In the last minute, I had to change my speech because he's such a powerful speaker. My name is Chiranjit Talukdar. I'm a pediatrician in Regina for over 45 years. A lot of my friends tell me, why are you rotting in Saskabus? <laughs> I tried to settle in California, lasted only two months. People are different, medical practice is different. I had to leave. And I'm so happy to be in Saskatchewan. I am extremely grateful to Nelson and Chinese Freemason Society of Canada for supporting Rezana General Hospital for over 10 years. Nelson said once that children are our future. I don't know whether he likes the children or likes me, he supports me every year, and we are extremely lucky. Can I kindly have the slides, please? I have some slides to show. We are in a small city here, but I'm going to brag. We anticipated previous permission. 
our neonatal intensive care unit survival and also treatment is one of the best in the world. Our post-operative infection is one of the best in, uh, infection is least in Canada. We are in a small community, but the team of doctors, nurses, medical and paramedical people, they work extremely hard. I like to introduce our Department of Pediatrics, Dr. Lodi, who is the head of the department. Lo Dr. Lodi, can you stand up, please?